morning. Good morning. So we are at Universal and we have, there's a couple new things. There's the, the escape room right behind us and there's the tribute store, summer tribute store that's just like classic Universal films. Yeah, I think mean, it's like their new thing now because they did it for Jurassic World for yeah. the ride open. Yeah. Like they do like a in between Mardi Gras and HHN. Yeah. Tribute store, it seems like. Yeah. To fill the space, but. So we have to so go check, check that, that out. out. Yeah. And I told Jacob I'm not leaving until I go on Hagrid's today. Mm -hmm. And we will like, Christmas shop a little bit because we're doing all Harry Potter Christmas. So. Show you guys that yeah this is the first like full out christmas that we've ever done yeah and we're gonna so, go full out harry potter and we're just gonna buy a little bit at a time yes it all it'll all come together at the end yeah we got time it's only june yeah we're halfway to christmas actually today is official oh no yesterday oh this day is 26th 25th oh, yesterday okay. was halfway to christmas perfect okay so it works <laughs> yes so let's i'll show you guys progress on the escape rooms okay so here is the great movie escape and they will be offering back to the future and a Jurassic World escape room it used to be a well a club this is like the black hole of city rock yeah it is nobody would ever come back here it used to be a club yeah never been in there but this is a much better use for the space yeah, so I don't know if they're going to do, if it's going to just consistently be those two or if they're later on, if they're going to change, mix it up for maybe Horror Nights. I hope they change it up, but I don't know how much, I mean, I'm sure it takes a lot to change it up or they'll add more. I don't know. Well, we were thinking, we were like, well, for like pass holders, it's kind of like a two thing and done. It's not like a repeat thing. Yeah. If they're not going to change up the rooms. Yeah. I wonder if they're just starting with these two while they're finishing the other ones. As a test, maybe? Maybe. Yeah. I feel like, I mean, they have enough room to do more than that. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be, like, bigger, like, more immersive than, like, a normal, your That's normal true. escape room. Like That's true. That's true. Yeah. Know. But Jacob and I have been saying numerous years that Springs and City Walk should have escape rooms, and it finally came true. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's so easy. People love escape rooms. Yeah. All right, so we are in Universal now, and we're gonna show you guys the Blumhouse merchandise preview for HHN. All, all of the merchandise previews are at the shop at the exit of Bourne. So we are gonna head there at the five and dine, dime. <laughs> It is, it's 2022. It's not HHN31. Oh, you did just point that out. So Jacob pointed out that this says 2022. It is no longer saying tw uh, 31. Yeah. But maybe it's just for this? It, maybe it'll still be known as 31. It doesn't say it on the shirt either. Oh, no, it says 2022. Or three. No, 22. Yeah. <laughs> what, what year are we in? Now? So the black phone has recently come out in theaters this weekend and um, Freaky has been out for a while. I have not seen either of them. No. So they also have the ornaments. You want to show the ornaments? I do want to see the black phone. So they do have ornaments. They've had ornaments for every uh, merchandise preview. I think on the other side it has HHN. Yeah. I'm not really like a fan of the pumpkin in the logo. I kind of like it. Oh, you do? Yeah. Looks kind of... I like the the year instead of the number. Really? But that's like HHN is the number. But they did it with this too. Yeah. Oh, that is... Instead of like 28. I think it's just whatever they feel like. That well, year. now it's off because Corona's. Corona's had to ruin it because we were perfectly lined up. With the year. They also have the Michael My Myers ornament. Is that what it says? It's Halloween. This is Halloween. 
So we thought, we were, oh, we were like, oh, we should have been collecting the ornaments, but it's too late now. Are they out of the Michael Myers shirts? Oh, they have all of them. So these are, this is the one for, what do they call it? Univer it's, um, I don't even know. I mean, it's Universal Monsters, but they say that it was, um, it's like something specific. Like Legends or something? I don't know. I don't remember. And then we also have this one. Never go alone. I'm not a fan of that logo. I don't like the skull on this one. I just don't like the, how they did the mom the ground. I guess that's not bad. I didn't like how they did it on the shirt. It was, like it was neon, neon red. red. Yeah. So they have the ornaments, but they don't have any more of the older shirts out. Mm -hmm. So. So they have one more. Two more. Two IP more IP houses. open. Right. Yes. Everybody's hoping for stranger things. things. If you look at the comments on all of their reveals on social media, everybody's always like, oh, that's great, but where's Stranger Things? Yes. Yes. I feel like if the new season hadn't been as good, as successful as it is, people would have been like, oh, Stranger Things again. But it was so good, and it's like perfect house material. There's going to be an uprising if they don't do it. There will. Because I think even if they did it next year, I think people would be over it by then. Like right. Like, you oh, have to do it this year because it's like new. Or if they wait till season five comes out. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of that, Jacob and I just made tattoo appointments for Stranger Things tattoos. We'll see who turns out better. <laughs> oh, the Michael Myers shirt. Shout out to Chris. See, but then this one doesn't have the year on it. it just says Is it on the back or on the sleeve? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah there you oh go. I like the back. But see the problem with girls is that it's so high up you're not gonna be able to see it. Put your hair up. Well yeah, you could. I mean you could, it's hot. I like it up there. I like the I orange. Mean, I like how the orange matches. I don't think I've ever bought an HHN shirt when they first came out though. I no, we always wait because yeah. All. It's just better that way. Oh well, I like the ones that have all the houses on. Me too. The classics, yeah. So as we're just passing this, I do wanna say that like Oh my god. <laughs> that was obnoxious. <laughs> so this um when they did the small HHN, just the two houses during coronas, they did this as the um a bar, a very themed bar and it had pictures from all of the years. Oh yeah, that was cool. It was amazing. And they didn't do it they did it last year, but it was only for Rip, Rip Tour. Tour. Yes. So I do wish they did it again, but as not a rip tour, I wish it was just more of an open experience for everyone. I feel like the rip tour, there's other buildings, like backstage buildings, where they could have a theme bar like that and still have this one be open to the public. Yeah, it was cool. I it remember was. it was always packed too. It was, the a, line was, it was like, great. This whole thing is great. Yeah. But it was something different. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, and then as we are walking around the park, we're going to tell you guys where we think the three houses that they have announced are going to be. I never know. I'm not good I'm at, good at I'm guessing. I'm not good at like where the house is. Oh, I'm good at guessing. Oh, I forgot. We have to walk through the Central Park area. Oh, yeah. Because they're doing some type of construction right outside the media center. Open it's open for previews today. I'm all about that. Okay, so we're talking. So we have, so far we have Halloween, Universal Monsters, and the Blumhouse. Yes. Blumhouse will always be the bubble back by the stage for Fear Factor. Yeah. We are thinking that Halloween would for sure be one of the two houses back here. It's either going to be this one where Hill House was last year, or it's going to be where Beetlejuice was. Yeah, because Halloween used to thousand times that they've done it already it was, it was always, always in the Shrek. Shrek but now Shrek's under construction so they won't use that yes so we're making so. the call right now that Halloween will be back here but I think their biggest house announcements are still to come their last two IPs will be the two big ones yes none of those three houses are big enough to get like the big sound stages at the front. you don't think they'll put Universal Monsters up there because they did put Bride of Frankenstein up there. Yeah, and nobody likes that. That's true. Well, somebody. It wasn't a good it draw. 
it wasn't a good draw because that line wasn't as long as it should have been. The one by the rip rocket, that one should have been like the big line. Yeah, because like Texas Chainsaw was a big one. They got the front house. Yeah. First house, one of the first houses. Yeah. So. Yep. What's to come? I don't know. Gotta go. Gotta be something Netflix. Gotta go smell the forest now. So typically there's a house. The Blumhouse house is always right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're in Men in Black we're right now. We're in Men in Black. So the bomb house is always in, been in between Men in Black and the Fear Factor stage, but there is no house up as you can see. There's nothing back there. Yeah. Because usually you can at least see the top, like the top of the tent. So we're thinking there's no house there because the construction for the Fear Factor stage might not be why there's a house right there. Yeah. But well, you can't do it. You're not going to do it here, and you're not going to do it in Shrek. So now you're down two spots. But they're still doing ten houses. They haven't said they're doing less. So where are you doing the other houses? I don't know. That's the question. So just before we go into the tribute story, I did want to point out that this is where they announced the first house. This is the video. Yeah. The, video, the theater that's previewed in the video for the Universal Monsters. For Universal Monsters. They, they walk out right here. Yeah. Because you can see the, the palace arcade sign. Yeah. Yes. And then the, the, well, the most recent one was in the parking garage. Oh, was it? I had no idea. Yes. Oh. I don't know where the second one, because the second one they were like in someone's house. That must have been like in a house somewhere. Oh. Oh, yeah, guys, I had no idea. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Whoa, light bulb. Their announcements this year are very good. Like, their video, they've really stepped up there. Yes. Instead of just doing, like, a graphic. You know, like, oh, a yeah. poster. It's just like, oh, here's the house. Like, I like the story. The video storyline thing is kind of cool. Yes. So we are heading into the tribute store. And we're going to try some snacks. Yes. And just, I mean, the tribute store is in the typical tribute store spot right by Jimmy Fallon. This is not the HHN. No, we thought it was. A couple this weeks is... ago, I was like, oh, I guess they're going to do like an 80s vibe for HHN. <laughs> but then this one's opened. It's just like the, I don't know what they call it. It's just like the summer tribute store. Yes. It's like just the classics. Oh, there you go. So it features E.T., Jaws, and Back to the Future. All right. Here's look for E.T. E. E. Tickets. E. tickets. Back to the Future, Jaws. What about the other Jaws? Jaws 2. Jaws and three. Returns. And there, there's like four, four. of them. Well, don't you wish tickets were still these prices? That four dollars? You go to AMC, it's like $34. <laughs> Even for an early bird. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I like it. It's very, it's cute. Yeah. It's cool. Movie. It's good. So it's more than just those two movies. It's like Jaws and E.T. are like the main ones, but then they have like the other classics. And Back to the Future. And, the thing. and Back to the Future, yes. But they have like all the classics. Yeah. Theater one. Oh, it's an ET. oh. It doesn't smell like ET. Though. No, it doesn't smell like. It always just smells like HHN fog. <laughs> it's always a little bit left over every year. It's like permanent. I honestly, at first glance, I thought that was Chucky yeah. sitting up there, but it's not. This is cute. If you like ET, this is cute. That is cute. I'm rocking my plaid today, so. You are. I'm not really a huge fan of E.T. He kind of creeps me out. I was always scared of him. Creepy picture of E.T. It's a child picture. Will the Wise did not draw that. No, it was Elliot. There he is. Is this like foreshadowing the Jaws? I don't know. I don't know E.T., so I don't know, like, all the little, um, you know. Oh. 
Could be. I didn't realize I had this much BT stuff. I didn't either. The back thing is cute. It is cute. Bone home. You have a lot of them. Universal loves doing these blocks. It's their new thing. I like the blocks though. It's their new thing. Because we have a big one for with Jack on it. Yes. From Horror Nights last year. Yes, we do. E.T. and I have the same pudge. <laughs> Jaws time. It's so cute in here. It's so cute. Oh. <laughs> What's on the front of it? Oh, just Jaws. Guys, I love Jaws. I'm definitely like Jaws 2 and Jaws 3, but I like the classic too. These are awesome. They are. It's hard to see. Yeah, it's very dark. I'll try to hold it out here. Is that better? Yeah. A little bit? It's cute. cute. I like the people on the boat. How to abandon ship. <laughs> Get a license plate. The tank top is so cute. Amity Island, the shark tours. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. Does it say Amity Island on it? Oh no, it just says Jaws. Jaws. You could totally rock that shirt over oh, this there. This is cool. What is it? It's the blueprints for like, for Jaws and then for... For Bruce that never worked? Yeah. And then for the... Whatever. Yeah. The thing. The big buoy thing. <laughs> I don't know Jaws either. You should get that shirt. Jaws. <laughs> yes. You could totally rock this one. No, this one. Oh, it's really soft. Oh, is it like a swim shirt? Because there's matching swim shorts. Oh, yeah. And there's a silver pepper shape. Oh, my God. Oh, so cute. Does it smell good? What would this smell like? Like, like ocean? You can never get these open. Oh, I actually smell really good. What does it smell like? It smells like guy. It's kind of heavenly, actually. I wish I smelled it. Is that what Brody smells like? <laughs> you could. $70. What? Seventy dollars. I could wear this to work. Is there anything on the back? Oh no! I was gonna say, did he did he eat her on the back? <laughs> it's a little scary. I just can't scare your mouth like that. I like the I like the one when it's like when she's just like smiling, like the classic sign yeah. of that. Oh, you want an action figure? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Jaws. Oh, it's got all of them on there. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah, there's E.T. Oh, I guess it's just those two. So cute. I love me some Jaws. Bring back Jaws. Oh my god, if we have a pool, we're getting this. <laughs> I should get that from my parents. Yeah. For their dock. <laughs> Flash! Ta da! So this one, it's like the same layout as the HHM one because this hallway was where they had all those pictures of the people this past year. Yeah. You could take a photo and you could be, you could be 
on the wall in here. Right. Theater three. Whoa. We were there at the Warner Brothers set. We were yeah, just we there. Right past the city hall. Yeah, we saw the clock. Yeah. It smells like popcorn in here. We can just say this is the clock from Stranger Things. Uh oh, we're gonna we're gonna see Beck now soon. I would say the Jaws room is the most impressive, but maybe it's just because I like Jaws the best. I agree. I like that. Uh oh, we're all gonna see Vecna. Oh, you can buy it. Oh, and you can buy the hoverboard. Because everybody wants the hoverboard. Oh, here's another. There's a blueprint for the clock tower at this one. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So, the food is always in the last room for any tribute store. Except for, I would say, I think HHO, theirs is different last year. Some, oh no, the holiday one. The holiday tribute store, the food was yeah. in this, the back room, in the back yeah. of the future room. So, there's all this food. I'll show you guys the food up close. It is adorable. Yes. So we are definitely getting one of those. And I think I want the popcorn apple. It looks... I know. I'll get the, the apple. The popcorn one? Yeah, if they can cut it up. The chocolate shot is a fully edible cup of raspberry gel. And it is delicious. It is a cake. It's, it's a chocolate cake. We got our treats. <laughs> they have old movie posters. Jacob got a jar. I'll show it more outside. Yeah. Yeah. They're so cute. So, so here's their, their close up. So the trifle is just vanilla, 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 vanilla. The way life should be. This is red I hate velvet. chocolate, so that's <laughs> It's red velvet, it's not chocolate. Okay, yeah. I was happy that there's a trifle with all just vanilla because I always have trouble finding desserts. Ew. What are you gonna name them? What are you talking about? It's Bruce. They're not all Bruce. Oh, he's Jaws. So there's like a jelly on top of it. Yeah, it's, see, it's like. It's mushy. It's mushy. It's like jello y. It looks. Ew. Oh, I just went right through it. Oh, it did. It's intense. Is it? It's good, it's very sweet. I, I think I like, oh no, oh, the trifle is in there. So this is just paper. And then there's, uh oh, I felt raindrops. It's just, there's literally blue sky right there. It's just this one cloud. Yeah. So do you like your cake jar? Is it not as good as HHN? No, it's good. I mean, they're all pretty much the same. Is there a lot of frosting on top? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's all frosting. Ellie didn't even get the cake yet. <laughs> How's yours? So this is good, but like if I dig all the way down, like look, all of that, look at how much frosting. It's like... Yeah, it's a lot of frosting. It's like six inches of frosting before you get to any cake. <laughs> and they like their frosting, because mine is 
a lot of frosting to why you can't see it because my screen is But I like their plate. frosting. Is yours like thick? Yeah, it's good frosting though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I love I, the I love the little the fin and then the because that's well what's this? This is white chocolate, right? The little jaws thing. Yeah, this is two I think. But they like they like paint it with something because mine it comes off. I will say that with the store though, like we were trying to order, but then too many people were just trying to like look at the treats. Yeah. And it I'm, is it is a challenge every time because uh -huh. people just want to look at them, and then if you want to film them, then you feel like you're in the way. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. but it's good. I definitely will probably only eat a couple bites of this because it's very strong. Yeah, it's very rich. So, we were on Hagrid, broke down, stuck in the rain, sitting there getting soaked and drenched. And then guess what? <laughs> it, like we're it's just like we have everything of ours got soaked. We were sitting there right literally five feet from to get off. And all we, we got, like, all we got was an express we, pass. So we got stuck right up on the ride, right outside. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying not to laugh, but you know, Go just really? laugh. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. God. So yeah, I'm like Drenched. I don't even know why I'm standing here. I might as well just keep walking. We might as point. well. I'm so wet. But at least my phone still works. So that's I had to document it. It's, I'm like mad, but I'm also just at the point where it's like, what is happening? It's a new experience. Yeah. So yeah, we are, yeah, soaked. And I'm watching the people walk out like, oh, I don't want to get damp. Yeah, it's, it's like, like well, you, oh, okay. Yeah. I want you to go sit out there for 20 minutes. Yeah. So yeah, we did. Jacob was just saying, like, we to, are upset. To be oh. honest, like, I just thought it was funny. People like, got like really, it. really, really there mad. There were a lot of very choice words coming out of people. Yes. And I just thought it was funny. Yeah. I mean, I just sat there and I was like, "Yep, this seems about right." <laughs> well, at it's first like we were. At first it was okay because I'm okay. We're stuck. It was sprinkling, and people were getting mad at like the sprinkling. And I was like, you can't even call this rain in Florida. And then all of a sudden, it goes, <laughs> and yeah. Well, the only thing I was worried about is because like, this is like the one time that I still had my phone in my wallet with me on that ride. And it's the one time yeah. that this happens. <laughs> so I was like, oh, now what? Yeah. But we're good. We're Obviously, good. It's still the working. phones are dry. I'm using that phone right now. So yeah. I mean, my wallet is not because I was sitting in a basically, basically a bucket of water. Yeah. So hopefully my card's still working. I did feel really bad though because there was like a child screaming. Like he was like, "Get me off! Stop! We're stuck! Someone help me!" And then we had like people saying choice words while the child was like scared and stuff. So it was a whole thing. <laughs> was, I was just kind of hoping that they would like just hand out towels at the end, like. like that. No, we got an express pass. Woo! One knows after four and we have free express anyway. <laughs> I mean, unless I can, I mean, and it, honestly, no, it's not even worth it, but I could use it on the Velocicoaster or a Hagrid, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So yeah. So, so that happens. So that happens, so we are leaving. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I have white shorts on, so. If anyone asks me, you just gotta have done this. <laughs> we might as well go on now. <laughs> I've, I've been making, wanting Jacob to go on. She said it. Well, we basically just did, so what does Princessy make? <laughs> there, we just went on Dudley's. Yeah, that's true. Or Popeye's. <laughs> Guys, this flannel is so heavy, soaked. Why are you still wearing it? Because I'm probably gonna be really cold now without it. Well, probably... Yeah. Well, <laughs> and that is how our day ends, folks. <laughs> There you awesome. have it. It's been an adventure, that's for sure. <laughs>